My name's Mark Hoddle. I'm the director for the Center of Invasive Species Research at the University of California, Riverside. We're in Laguna Beach today, and we're part of a team that's removing a Canary Island palm that you can see behind me. Removed the fronds from the top of the palm tree up there, and we've been interested in looking at the base of the fronds to see if there's been any red palm weevil uh, tunneling and damage to these fronds. We've completely removed every frond from the previously infested tree, and as you can see from this uh, frond that I have here, there's no damage. there was evidence of red palm weevil activity in this palm tree. We treated it with insecticides and we are now removing the palm tree not because of red palm weevil but because of a landscaping issue and the palm needs to be removed. This has given us the opportunity to dissect this palm tree to look for evidence of red palm weevil activity. We've looked at the fronds of the palm tree that we have removed and there's no evidence of weevil tunneling, any damage, holes or cocoons and we've also dissected out the centre of the mirror stem at the very top of the palm where the weevil larvae preferentially feed and again there's no evidence of any palm weevil feeding damage to this palm tree. Our conclusion is that this palm tree is free of red palm weevil infestation even though last summer we saw evidence of weevil activity in this palm tree and we suspect that the insecticide treatments were successful and it's cleaned up this infestation. The palm tree is going to be removed and destroyed according to CDFA disposal regulations.